What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you guys today's video. Getting close to that update coming soon with some big changes in it. So today, taking a look at some attacks uh, with the new Ice Golems, and so much of the focus has been Town Hall 12, I want to show some Town Hall 11 action. Um, a lot of the same principles as Town Hall 12, but let's see different attack strategies, these new things I was kind of playing around with if anything works too well, um, because I think the new Ice Golems have potential to make new attack strategies at these top Town Hall levels, and even at Town Hall 10 when you can bring them in your Clan Castle, in your Wall Wrecker, Stone Slam, or whatever. So anyway, this first one was a uh, Jump Spell Ice Golem Witch attack with a Stone Slammer on the side there, and Things move slow, it doesn't look like you have a lot of troops, but things actually go pretty far into the base. I think one of the issues, because these attacks weren't, um, you know, extremely well planned out, one of the issues was there wasn't enough uh, firepower on the sides to go uh, along uh, the outside. There was not the top side because the slammer helped out, but those cannons are still up at the bottom of the base there, and that's one of the main issues is there wasn't anything pulling up that side and also the back end was a little bit too much so might need some tweaking but uh, some kind of ice golem witch combination maybe even with jump spells as we saw here I really like I think if you get the ice golems in the base uh, they can be very effective with this new freeze radius um, check out my video uh, about a week ago or so on the on the update if you haven't already seen some of this new uh, ice golem details, but yeah, I mean it's a, it's a big change coming to the ice golem offensively, and you guys can see defensively the freeze uh, duration is greatly decreased. Um, the ice golems in the CC are not doing anything near the ones uh, that are being used offensively in terms of freeze duration. So anyway, this next attack strategy I'm really liking. Um, a bit base specific, you'll see why, but. We're using the king to kind of clear out one side here, and then I'm just using a regular golem, wall wrecker filled with ice golems, and the queen. That's all that's going into the base. And I'm just going to let the queen sit back and just do work on this first section of the base where the king is, where the queen is. A little bit fortunate that both heroes are relatively accessible. Uh, the, the wall wrecker will open up the uh, path into the queen there. But you'll see the ice golems come out, they uh, get destroyed here, and when they die, they're basically freezing the CC inside the poison, uh, they're freezing the inferno, and then, uh, like I said, a little bit base specific because um, the entire uh, side of the base that's left up now uh, does not have any DPS on it, so the queen can just sit back, uh, but besides that one expo, it's locked onto the ice golem there. Uh, so that was fortunate, but... Um, I think this is going to be something where we look at small kill squads going into a base and then uh, just like the, the heroes basically, in this case just the queen, uh, to back things up, get value, and then here we go, mass hogs. Only issue was it took about a minute or so, even more than a minute actually, closer to a minute 30 um, for that first part of the attack. So the hogs are coming in really late and there's a ton of base left up, um, so it requires cleanup to be really quick. And we'll see that at the very end, this isn't going to quite triple because of cleanup. But, I mean, there's just a ton of spells. I, mean, I don't think we use any spells on the, uh, the kill squad, besides like a poison. Um, that just shows the power of it, guys. Uh, being able to get the benefit of the ice golems, and they don't require any spells. They are the spell, basically. They get that freeze effect. So, that was really cool, how that worked out. And there's going to be a ton of hogs left up at the end of this one. Plenty of heal spells. Uh, only issue, like I said, is time. And we'll see at the end here, things kind of uh, start to die, or not die off, but um, there's just a few buildings left up in the middle that aren't going to quite go down here. But yeah, I'm really liking hogs. And even at Town Hall 12 now, uh, with the new level 9 hog coming to Town Hall 12, I think that certain of these uh, kill squad hog attacks might be viable. If you can get that hog deployment right, the mass hogs, get a good warden's ability, um, Town Hall 12 could really be viable as well with those new high level hogs. Um, but certainly Town Hall 11, you're going to see some options. Um, something I should start experimenting with once the update comes out. 
on my actual uh, Trisectatron account. Okay, um, had to show something that I know everyone's going to be curious about, which is some of these bow witch type attacks. Um, this is what we tend to see uh, almost as much, if not more, than bow witch at Town Hall 11, Town Hall 12, which is like a queen walk into a bow witch. So only using witches on one side of the base. Good queen walk here in this case. Um, takes out an entire side. This is what you want to look for uh, with the gap behind that first layer. So it's a nice natural funnel. Um, nothing at the top is going to pull things in as they cut across the base, uh, which is being used on the bottom here. This would have been, I think, a perfect army composition, perfect plan, had it not been for that multi-inferno that's awkwardly down at the bottom of the base. Uh, as you can see, um, as the witches get down towards about 6 o'clock there, the multi-inferno is just going to destroy them because the kill squad, that main push through the base, is not going to access that multi-inferno. Um, so I don't, I don't know what would be the solution. Maybe uh, use wall breakers and one to two jump spells and save the siege machine as a stone slammer for six o'clock to get that in there, get that taken out. Because um, I think it might be doable if you freeze the air defense or something. But uh, yeah, that's the only tricky part of this base. Um, one thing we're going to see in this attack as well as the next one is at the end, because we use like five or six ice golems, it's the ice golems that are still alive, which is not what you want. You want the ice golems to die before anything else, because when they die, they get that freeze effect. They don't do you much good if they're still up beating on walls at the end of the attack. So that's one thing I definitely noticed, is putting multiple ice golems inside your kill squad does not necessarily get you more value than if you did like one or two, I'd say. Uh, maybe I'd say maybe two, two. Anywhere from one to three is probably a good number. Um, from what I can gauge here, just because uh, things tend to run out in front, the splash damage kills the bowlers earlier, uh, you're really not getting much extra value from those additional ice golems besides freezing stuff at the very end of the attack, but that doesn't even matter uh, once all your damage dealing troops are dead. So, um, we will take a look at one more example here. I tried to get a little bit fancy, thought I could substitute in some hogs, because um, I wanted to get that multi-inferno taken out, so I got rid of the witches, and brought some hogs instead. We'll see how this worked out here. Um, but once again, we are bringing quite a few ice golems, and I think you guys will see the value's not there. So if we're talking Bow Witch post update, I know we have the new witch level at Town Hall 12, which people are going to be excited to be using. Um, you can check out some uh, footage of the of the witches in that previous video I mentioned before on the update that I put out pretty recently. Um, but I think that for these new Bow Witch attacks, only going to be a couple Ice Golems. I think it'll be worth it to bring a few. In the past, we haven't been seeing any Ice Golems. It's been Giants or regular Golems. I think the new update's going to make Ice Golems viable, but only one or two of them. Not the, uh, the full five or six that I'm bringing here, just to kind of try to exaggerate to really show them off in this video. Um, so keep that in mind. Don't go too heavy on those numbers. Um, and I think that uh, Queen Walk into a Bow Witch or a straight up Bow Witch with Witches on both sides is something to look for. It'll still take a base that is susceptible to it. It can't be forced, but I think that on the right base, it'll, e it'll work even better than it might have before the update because, especially at Town Hall 12, we're getting the new Witch levels um, as well as the Ice Golem new level at Town Hall 12 and also the Ice Golem change which is basically going to be nice for any uh, ground-based attack that has any type of kill squad in it. Uh, I think the Ice Golems can make a good addition to almost any kill squad. Because of this new freeze radius, um, it is much bigger than the actual freeze spell, as you guys have been seeing. But once again, yeah, um, I think just don't want to see Ice Golems up at the end, especially in the left-hand corner, if you can see there by the chat. Uh, there's a healer stuck on an Ice Golem on the wall right at the entry point. That's a big no-no. Um, that is 19 troop space uh, essentially wasted. So anyway, um, has some kinks in it. That's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys learned a thing or two and are excited for this update to be coming out very soon as I am. There's some other cool stuff in it that you guys may have seen other YouTubers cover. I'm going to be focusing mainly on how this uh, impacts clan wars and attacking and defending at Town Hall 10, 11, and 12, so stick around. 
I might be uh, posting some updated defensive guides for you guys, um, as well as some uh, upgrade priorities, stuff like that, to help you along in your journey through Clash. That'll do it for today's video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bisectatron out. Mm -hmm.